Alright, what is up guys, that is Storm back here with another video, and in this one, I am bringing you a tier list of all the anime I'm currently watching during Spring 2022. And, you know, we have about 9 anime right here, you know, not too many, not too little, you know, just a pretty decent amount, kinda in the middle. And, you know, I thought, why not rank them, you know, from, you know, kinda the very best to the, you know, just kinda in the middle, just kinda average to the absolute worst, or just like, bottom of the barrel this season. And with that, why don't we just dive uh, right on in. And now, speaking of bottom of the barrel, why don't we start off with the only anime I dropped out of the first episode, and the only anime I dropped in this season in general. And that it's, uh, it, it's this one right here. Now it's called I'm Quitting Here Wing, and it follows the story of... Oh, fuck, I cannot... I, fuck, <laughs> for the love of God, I cannot remember his name. It's, uh, yeah, why don't we just go with the Kirito clone, you know, Kirito... Uh, yeah, the Kirito clone, you know, just he uh, ends up fighting uh, the Demon Lord and her army, you know, pink, pink haired girl right here, you know, ends up beating them, but he ends up getting betrayed by humanity, because, you know, they're just really terrified of him and how powerful he is, and he ends up traveling to the Demon Lord's army and ends up joining it, you know, just kind of fix the mess he's made, and he's kind of got nowhere else to go, so, you know, he just decided to go there. And it's a comedy anime also about just, you know, him just cleaning up his own mess. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that it sounds like a pretty, pretty decent synopsis. You know, it, it might hook some people in, but for, for the life of me, I just, I just could not get into this anime. I watched the first episode and I was just like, this, this is a forgettable ass anime. Now, if you like fantasy comedy, sort of like Konosuba, it's sort of like that, you know, just without the isekai part, but it's it, it's just nowhere near the level of Konosuba, that's kind of obvious, but it's just, it's just kind of a shitty fantasy anime, to be honest, but to, like, to be real, if I gave it a chance, I might, I, I, I might find it entertaining, to be honest, but... I just, I just couldn't get into it. I saw like episodes two, three, four getting released, and I was just like, I really, I really don't feel like watching this. So for that reason, I'm putting this in D. Now, like I said, if I gave it a chance, it'd probably be like, probably go to like C. It's kind of all right, but it's just, I just couldn't get into it. it. I'm literally gonna forget about this anime by next season. I know I am. But uh, I I enough about this. Let's just move on to the next anime. And, uh, you know, speaking of isekai anime, why don't we, uh, why don't we give, uh, this one right here its proper place, and it's called The Greatest Demon Lord Gets Reincarnated as a Typical Nobody. Now, if you've seen the Misfitted Demon King Academy last summer, uh, it's, it's literally just pretty much like this. The Demon Lord gets reincarnated, he's overpowered, and everybody else is just hella weak, and he just builds a harem while enjoying life. That's literally this anime. But it's just entertaining to see his antics and just how he goes about doing things. You know, he tries to keep the fact that he's a demon lord a secret, which is, you know, kind of funny, not gonna lie. And for that reason, I'm putting this in, uh, C. I mean, literally for the fact that I have been keeping up with this, and I have not been keeping up with this one. Now, I mean, that's pretty much kind of the reason why I put it in C, but I mean, it's just, you know, it's just... I mean, it's alright at best. I'm definitely gonna forget about this. Like, these two anime right here are entirely forgettable. But now, how about we try an anime that I'm definitely not gonna forget about. And that right here is Tomodachi Game. Now, this falls under the death game category of anime. Sort of like the battle royale type of thing. But instead of, like, characters trying to kill each other and trying to survive, it's the characters trying to outwit each other, like, using, like, psychological warfare. So if you literally, if you like psychological type shit, right, you know, if you like the psychological battle of Death Notes, then you'll definitely like this game, or this anime, rather. I mean, it's just a death game, but an anime. But, you know, the characters in this, they're students, and, you know, they all owe, uh, they all end up in a game where they owe a lot of money, and, you know, this, they gotta clear their debts and shit, and they gotta just play, like, kids' games to, uh, get out of it and just move on to the next, the next one. Oh, wow, that... Uh, really sounds like a lot like Squid Game Row. Wow, not gonna lie. But um, the main character in this, he is, he is a menace. 
he is an absolute fucking menace. His name is Yuichi, and you just have to watch this anime to know how much of a menace this man is. Also, there's a traitor, you know, that just kind of signed them up for the game. Uh, like, one of these characters is a traitor, so just pretty much think Among Us, but with money. That's pretty much what it is. But the psychological warfare in, in this anime is, is something else, not gonna lie. But the main character, main character is what does it for me. It's how much this man right here is a menace. You see his smile? Yeah. <laughs> I fuck with this main character. He's, he's dope as fuck. I can't, I, I definitely can't lie. And for that reason, I'm putting it in B. No, I might move it to A, but for right now, I'm putting it on, like, the top of B. You know what? Uh, fuck, I'm putting it in A. Yeah, this, 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 this shit right here is definitely going in A. But, you know, how about we move on to the next Isekai anime, and that is, uh, Skeleton Knight in Another World. Now, this, when I first watched this, it, it definitely gave me Overlord vibes. I mean, literally the main character is a skeleton in in isekai that's literally irons this, this man right here his name is ark he, he, bro he, he's literally just irons you know the main character he ends up getting teleported to the game he's playing as his character right here and he's literally just a skeleton knight and it just goes about him just you know being overpowered as hell obviously it's an isekai and just you know him just trying to survive in this world doing just what he needs to do he ends up becoming a mercenary because he's got to make money somehow and it's, that's really all you need to know. Let's, let's, bro, the, the Isekai anime, honestly, most of them are shit. I know that, but I just, I just can't help it. I, I, I think I have a problem with needing to watch every single Isekai anime, no matter how bad it is. Like, if this was an Isekai anime, like, I, I would honestly probably watch it, to be honest. I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have dropped, I would not have dropped it. I know that for a fact. But, I mean, if you like Overlord, you'll probably like this. I mean, and for that reason, I'ma just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put this at like the top of C. Now, moving on to the next one, we have uh, Shikimori is not just a cutie. Now, this, this, this has one of the most wholesome anime couples, and honestly, like probably the best anime couple of 2022. Now. Uh, I, I didn't finish I didn't finish my dress up darling. I mean people will probably fight me in the comments for saying that But this 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 girl right here. She is definitely waifu material You know and you know the synopsis is that it just follows uh, a couple in high school You know the guy he has fucking just awful awful luck like this man will get hurt in any way shape or form like he'll walk outside and he'll trip on a pebble and like break his arm but his girlfriend right here her name is shikimori obviously she has like insane reflexes and it's just like really really cool and she just kind of saves him she's kind of the alpha in the relationship well yeah this and that's kind of the premise of the anime but it's just it's just really wholesome and also, also, they start the anime already in a relationship, so you don't have to go through any of the bullshit watching a 12 episode anime for them to get into a relationship at the end. So this is just a romantic comedy that's just really wholesome and it's really fun to watch. And so for that reason, oh, I don't know if it's better than Tomodachi game though. I mean, I really do, I do enjoy watching this anime, but I don't know. Oh, fuck, I, I don't know. I really like the anime couple in this, but I think I'm gonna have to put this at, like, the top of B. Like, Tomodachi, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're on the same level. Fuck, this, this is kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Alright, but, uh, moving on to the next one. We have, uh, Trapped in a Dating Sim. So, yeah, this... Y you know from, from this picture that this, that this man's... He, this man is a menace, not on the level as Yuichi from Tomodachi game, but this man is a menace in his own right, and I fucking love it. This is probably, besides Shield Hero, is my <laughs> second favorite isekai anime. I mean, obviously, it's still an isekai anime, and if not for the main character, it would just be another shitty isekai anime. You know, character gets main character gets transported to the game he's playing, which is a dating simulator, and, uh, 
he ends up in a world where, you know, women have pretty much all the power. And, you know, obviously he goes to a magic academy, you know, kind of fights the, the royal assholes pretty much. But this man, he's, he, he does whatever he wants. He doesn't give a fuck. Like, he will say whatever the fuck he wants. Like, he portrays himself as the villain of the story. Cause just because he wants to live, you know, just uh, uh, just live his own life, right? Just He, he doesn't want to deal with all the, uh, the bullshit of having to get a wife. Because, you know, he, uh, like, in this world, they have to get a wife, like, a wife by, like, you know, a certain age. And he kind of, he kind of failed at that. So he just, he was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do my own shit. And, you know, he just fucks with everyone, bro. Like, obviously, you know, he uh, somehow gets uh, some bitches behind his back somehow. But this man, he's just a menace. Like, the characters that he fights, bro, he just embarrasses them. Like, beyond belief. And I just, I fucking love this main character, bro. The anime itself, if not for the main, the, the only reason I watch this anime is for the main character. I just, I just fuck with this main character, to be honest. And for that, I'ma just put it at like like at low B tier. It's not on the level of Shiki Mori, but it's like low B. But why don't we go to an anime that is just just just, just perfect in my all and like just just uh, maybe it's not perfect, but it's just insanely good, which is Spy Family. This anime is easily S tier, with having a badass main character uh, that is just uh, that everyone wants to be in like Lloyd this man he can do pretty much anything he's just a badass spy while having a waifu that is just easily top waifu material I don't know how that is compared to my dress up darling but in your she is she is bad as fuck while also having one of the most adorable and wholesome characters I've seen in a while in Anya. She is just, she is just fucking, bro, the only word to describe her is adorable. So it follows the story of, you know, Lloyd, who has to, uh, who goes by the name of Twilight. You know, he's a spy, and he pretty much just has to save two countries while having to build a family in about a week. So he has to find a wife and a kid in a week. Yeah and somehow accomplishes that but not only is he a spy Anya the little girl is a telepath meaning she can read minds and Yor the wife is an assassin and uh, you know they try to hide their identities all from each other but Anya she knows that uh, Yor is an assassin and that Lloyd is um, a spy and it just goes about their antics and just them building their relationship as a family from just, you know, pretty much, you know, they start out, like, just doing it for their own gain. You know, Anya, so she doesn't have to be alone, and so she can have her own family. Lloyd, so he can just complete the mission, and Yor, just so that she can, like, use her for, use them for her her missions. And that, like, so she doesn't get suspected is, um, like, being a spy, like, being someone that's, you know, not to be trusted. But, it's just it, it's so good these i i these characters this is easy this is easily like top this could be anime of the year honestly and for that reason i'm putting this in s like spy family is easily one of the best anime i've seen in a while but why don't we move on to the next and final isekai anime which would be shield hero finally i i watched this anime like in 2020 and the first episode that first episode was that first episode was fucking amazing. It made me love Nao Fumi as a main character. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this video has at least seen or at least heard about Shield Hero. If you haven't, you, you just must be living under a rock. Because this is my favorite isekai of the year. Or, or of the season. You know, I, honestly, I would say of the year. Season 2 finally came out and it's been... It's been pretty it's you know it's been really good so far that right now they're kind of fighting a, a giant tortoise that's that's kind of all i can really say but i mean it's just the continuation of the shield hero story which is definitely it's definitely one of my favorite isekai anime so if you like action oriented uh, isekai anime with you know 
fantasy and magic and shit and with a dope ass main character go watch shield hero and for that i mean honestly i probably i definitely like this more than tomodachi games i'm gonna put this in top a and let's see and finally <laughs> we have kaguya love is war if you haven't seen this anime you you are missing out this this anime is a comedy about uh the like president and vice president kaguya and um fuck, what is his name hold up hold up i know his name bro i know his name what is his name bro hold up oh no nah, it's but it's about the president and you know kaguya they both secretly love each other but they don't want to admit it to each other so you know they try to get the other to admit it but hold up i'm looking at that shit right now what's his name what's his name what's his name bro what's his shirogane yeah shirogane all right so you know it follows shirogane and kaguya like like i said they both love each other but they try to get the other to admit it, and, you know, they, obviously they fail on numerous occasions, you know, but it also has the, uh, other characters that are in the, uh, student council, you know, you got, like, the, you know, the pink hair girl in the back, and this dude in the background, and, but this anime right here, it's, it's, it, it's comedy gold, this is probably, like, it, bro, honestly, this is definitely, I, I feel this is a better comedy anime than Konosuba, because, the comedy in this anime it's 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 just fucking gold bro it, it's it's so good it makes every episode just i laugh my ass off this shit is just so funny well also being uh not only a comedy but a role like uh like a romantic anime like like once if whatever these two get together i mean pretty sure that'll probably happen at the end of the series and it'll, it'll just be so satisfying it's it's not like other romantic anime where like it's kind of boring leading up to them trying to get together. Like, the best part about this anime is them trying to get the other to admit that they love each other. This, honestly, this anime is easily my favorite of this season. And it, it, it's definitely going to be in my favorite of the year. Because it's, it's just so good. It's just so fucking funny. If you have not seen this, you are missing out. If you just want to laugh your ass off to an anime, watch Kaguya-sama. It's just... It's so good. But this might be a bit controversial to some, but I honestly like this more than Spy Family. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, Spy Family is just a really good anime, but I, I I, just fuck with this anime even more. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, this this anime is just, it, it, it's, it, it's just on another level to me. But... This is, you know, this is so, uh, uh, let's see, uh, do I fuck with this ranking? You know, Kaguya-sama at the top, then Spy Family, uh, Shield Hero, Tomodachi Game, Shikimori, Dating Sim, Skeleton Knight, Greatest Demon Lord, and Quitting Heroing. You know, I would say, I, I would say this is a, a pretty fair ranking to me, at least. I mean, if you haven't seen some of these anime like if you haven't seen tomodachi game or spy family or kaguya sama go watch those those, those are fucking amazing anime these four you know no these five right here are definitely my favorite of the season but these these right here honestly i mean you don't really have to watch it i watch it just because i have a problem with the isekai anime that i just i just need to watch every isekai anime it, that yeah that's if isekai anime were a drug i would be an addict it doesn't matter how shit it is i watch it but yeah i would say this is a pretty fair ranking but yeah i mean so uh, i mean we finished it up but i mean if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i mean they're all free so why not if you want some dope channel merch links i'll be down in the description below and if you want to see more of me be sure to go check out my other channels and go follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok which will all be linked down below but I mean, if you want to see more of this, like more tier lists on anime and manga, then just let me know down in the comments below and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace. Hi, Stella.